Hi, this is Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. I meant to do this dream. One of our YouTubers, our faithful watchers, goes by the name of Colton. I'd like you to hear this dream, and I bet you it's, it's going to make you pray, especially those of you who know people in North Carolina. All right, listen to this. Hi, Pat. It's been a while since I received a vision or a dream. However, yesterday while I was driving, I had a vision. I was holding Jesus' hands, and we were walking along. We were walking along what seemed to be the shore of a body of water. I saw reflections in the water, almost like I was watching TV. I saw fields as far as I could see, that were burned and dried up from no rain. I saw North Carolina. I have never been there, by the way. A huge wave came out of the ocean and destroyed many cities in North Carolina. I saw buildings collapsing from earthquakes. People were without food and water. Many people were acting like animals, killing and raping people, stealing their foods and belongings. Even, even things like TVs, which made no sense because there was no electricity anywhere. There were lines of people waiting to get a chip injected in their hand. Or very vividly, just below their hairline on their foreheads. If they didn't get the chip, they were denied food rations, water, clothes. Some people had their children taken away because the government said they were unfit parents for not taking the chip and feeding their kids. These were a lot of, there were a lot of fires fires everywhere in every clip I could see every little scenario there was seemed like there was a fire finally toward the end Jesus told me I will warn many but many will not listen mm, mm, mm. for those of you who sound my alarm my warning you will be hated and ignored Colton I am the door and no one will enter the kingdom of my Father except through me. I am here and will swing my sickle soon. I have prepared a place for each and every one of you. Wow, this was so vivid. And this was the most vivid and detailed dream, well, vision, I've ever received. Ooh, that is something to think about, isn't it? I am telling you the way things are going, it's no telling where the next popcorn is going to pop off, where the next disaster is going to go. But listen, pray. You got to pray and seek his face because he will not only direct your path, he will give you divine protection and he will lead you to safety where there will be provision. Remember I did a video couple of years ago it's it's i think it's got 50 is that the one excuse me it's got i think twelve thousand views well that particular one i said while i was preaching the lord dropped a prophetic word in me and in in this i saw a replay of a particular scene from the movie angels in the outfield and it was right when the angels started to come to the rescue of this poor pitiful team that couldn't catch a ball if you handed it in the glove mitt yourself. They would somehow fumble the ball. That, that's how bad they were. So what ended up happening was the guy had, had hit the ball, it hit a high, and he was running backwards trying to get it, and the angels swooped down, picked him up, and shoved him over where the ball was going to be because he was going to miss it. 
And what that said to me when God showed me that scene while I was preaching was that when things are going crazy in this country, God is going to make things for his people that are really drawing close and living holy, doing their best to obey him. God is going to make things easily accessible for us here. He's going to make provision easy, miraculous, without such an effort, without the strain, provision will be granted for us. So even if other people, if their water supply is, is lousy, if their food supply is low, whatever the case may be, as long as the saints pull together and pull their resources, we will not go without. I hope that encourages you. God will take care of what belongs to him. God bless you.